Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Steven from Triff Gaming out in the middle of the night over here on the field making a video for you guys. Today's intro, all right, I'm gonna be introducing a lot of new things to the channel, man. One, your boy does Uber now. Your boy's making that money on Uber. Not the most amount, but you know, making $25 an hour very easily. So today I drove an hour and a half and made uh, 40 bucks. Like, it's a very easy way to make money. So if you guys are interested in Uber, use my Uber code in the description below. Uh, I'll message me after you do that. I'll tell you guys how, how I do make $25 an hour easily. Uh, there's a lot of times throughout the week. I typically drive about, I'd say, 20 hours and easily make $500 20 hours very easily. Uh, it's something you do on, the, on your spare time. But if you guys are interested in Uber, I'll uh, use my link in the description below to sign up for Uber and message me on social media. If you guys have any questions about it, I'll happily answer. Also, make sure to check out uh, the links below for... Uh, and you, your cousin from Marjo Market. I'll be releasing my own mat soon, just a little update. And uh, also make sure to subscribe for our 10K giveaway. At 10K, I'm releasing a Dark Magician play mat for a lucky winner. I'm gonna pick one you guys at random. And without further ado, yo, what's good, guys? This is your boy Steven Trip Gaming, and we got fresh off his white boy vacation, freshly tan, the Dylan Fricker coming at you guys with a very, very spicy and amazing Sky Striker list. Now you guys see me in the past, I've disrespected Sky Striker, but you know what? With the release of Hayate and just overall, how strong the deck's gonna be in the future, I think it's a good deck. So who better than Dylan to do it? So bro, what do you think about your Sky Striker list, bro? Um, so like, I really don't like Goki and Sky, Stri uh, Sky Striker and Trickster, because it's like, I found those decks aren't very skillful, the mirror matches. The mirror, skill mirror match is very skillful. Uh, this deck is really skillful, like what you're searching, how you, um, uh, your chain links and how you orient your plays going first and second. Um, I really like to outplay my opponent, and I like, I don't really like the degeneracy of drawing who drew more hand traps or who drew call by the grave and stuff like that. Who drew floodgates? So it's just not really my types of decks going Walker, around. And then like your 50 million hand traps destroy Goku. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Screw them, bro. Yeah, for sure. Fuck Six, that deck. So yo, bro, we're gonna go right into, the, <laughs> we're gonna go right into the video. Before we go into it, shout out to our sponsor right here, YGO Market. Our, our Royal Club games, check them out. Description below, they got all the cards you need, and uh, 10% off if you use my discount code. Uh, let's go straight into the video, bro. All right, so best card in the deck is three Ray. Um, people can't, like, it's incredibly hard for decks to TK you with this. Uh, it's really great in the grind game. Like, you just freaking open this card, and I just feel like I'm winning because it works in tandem with all your Sky Striker cards. You just don't really need anymore. So, this, this card's Box. crazy. That's a good card, man. Yeah, uh, three Ash. So, um, it's not like Worlds, so when it comes to Worlds format, Jesse's completely right, like Jesse's like the GOAT right now, so he's re completely right. Yeah, he's right. the second GOAT, yeah. Yeah, you're the GOAT. Um, <laughs> so, like, this card is really not good at Worlds, but here there's a lot of Altergeist, uh, the mirror match is prevalent, there's a lot of Rogue, so like, Ash is really good because um, this deck, you can go one for one and you're still going plus because you only need one card to play, yeah. which the, like all the other decks, uh, Candina is like Garnet, so it doesn't yeah. do anything. Um, <laughs> fucking hate that deck. Um, and so this card, this card is just like really good against all that. So I decided to play that. It was really good. Two Ogre. Uh, I, Trickster Brandish is still very prevalent. I don't know why, it's garbage. Um, but this card is terrible against that deck. And I don't want to draw it against it. Um, but it's really good against Goki, the Mirror Match, and Altergeist, yeah. so I still thought it was prevalent in my deck. And then the best hand trap in my deck is Gamma. This card is crazy in this deck. I played uh, my boy Noctin, shout out to him. Uh, he's a fake hype beast. Um, I gammed him twice in a turn. Um, and, like, it's really good in this deck because if you gamma someone going first, like, scumbags who main deck drool, you just gamma them. You summon Omega, you rip, so you take in two cards, yeah. and then you do your whole brandish thing, set up uh, Widow Anchors, and they can't do anything. This deck is called Change of Heart Turbo. That's what it's called. So we play three Gamma, and that's the best hand trap in the game right now, because Goki can't cover the grave. Um, you can yeah. still negate under, which is really prevalent, you can still negate under Magical Midbreaker Field, you just can't destroy it. So it still does something, which is really important. Uh, and that's it for the monsters. For the spells, best card in the deck, three engage. It's probably gonna get hit that or 100 rounds. I really hope this doesn't get hit. 
Um, Honestly, bro, I don't think it's going to get hit yet. Agreed. Uh, they're they're going to they release can... more stuff. They're going to hype up strikers a little more. I don't think. Right? Like, they haven't really done its full potential because Goki's still, still full of power. And no one... It's going to get hit for sure eventually. Yeah. But I have a feeling that for this balance, and I can get touched and watch these jump to like 150 or something. Buy them on Joe Market. So watch them <laughs> jump to like 150 or something. Like... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, this card is just crazy, but I agree with you. Like, I feel like the deck is very underexplored. People cut it out of a lot of stuff. And I've let... I, people tell me Yoki is like an unwinnable matchup for this deck, and I just beat them consistently. And I'm not, I'm not main decking cherries either. Like, it's really not that hard. Game one is very degenerate, because it's just that I draw enough hand traps to beat you, which I really don't like because of the format. Um, but yeah, like, this card is just so good. Uh, it doesn't need to be explained. Yeah. So three anchor. I see some people playing two. Don't play three. <laughs> it's change of heart turbo. Um, I play desires, so like, if you banish, uh, like, two, and you only play two, like, you just lose. 300 drones. It's really good. Uh, it sucks when you get cherried on that. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, so like if you get cherried on like Ray, like who cares? Ray's but, fine because like, you can like, like recycle and stuff. Or you just chain it. So you can at least have that one that turn, right? Well, yeah, knock, but, chest, knock again. He taught me like you just have to grind it out with um, yeah. uh, multi roll if you get cherried on. Or bro, you just so gamma bro. them eventually and bring them back, bro, with Omega. Yeah, right? gamma's gamma's just amazing. Um, and then the three um, utility cards. So Hercules base. I play only Jujutsu in my extra deck, which is a little odd, but um, I feel like I need the space for more prevalent like monsters. Yeah. And this card is absolutely phenomenal in the grad game. Dude, I um, smashed him in the mirror match. <laughs> um, he, he, oh, he, what's it called? He cherries me, and I still smashed him. <laughs> he didn't smash me. I dummied him, double gammed him game one. And then game two, he smashed me because he ripped twin in the end phase. And game three, it was time, so I gave him the win. <laughs> and then, yeah, he, he smashed me. All right. Um, true, so the best combo ever? Activates field spell, then multi roll. Because you don't want to set those cards. All right. Um, other like important engine cards is jamming waves. So, um, a reason why I love this deck so much, and it's like really fun to play, is because like it seems like um, spellbooks where everything is like a toolbox. You yeah. have a million toolbox cards, and they're all searchable, which is really nice. Um, and then afterburners. So next format, when that stupid thunder dragon mistake on legs comes out, you got to play two of this to out that easier. Yeah. Um, but for now, like maybe even three if it's so relevant. Just yeah, to make sure, yeah, you, sure. You can't like you can't lose that. Yeah, yeah, and you can't search it, so um, you gotta like really draw it. Yeah, so like this is really good. Um, right now, the format is dictated by back row, like all the except for Goku. So and this the best deck this, pendulum it, and everything. Oh, for sure. So it's like pendulum is just like God tier, and then it's like Goku, <laughs> and then this deck, and I'm then this guy, and I'm then glad, so. It, bro, I'm glad you know. I'm glad you know. So it's like so Goku's. Oh no, magician's like here. <laughs> <laughs> and then Goki's like here, and then Pure's here, and then Shiksai Skyshaker is like in the toilet. Fox, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have. Why'd you stab me, bro? Yeah, so I got you. So yeah, these three are like absolute phenomenal. I think these are standard. I, I don't yeah. think you cannot play this. Yeah. It's like important against Brandish uh, and Trickster Brandish. Yeah. And if it's ever dead, you literally just side it out. Whatever. Exactly, exactly. I don't side it out. Uh, two multi roll. Um, really good. It's really good. Like, you just plays around troll, plays around the opponent's widow anchor. Like, it's yeah. just amazing. Would you ever want to bump into three in the future? Um, maybe, it but it's, it's bricks. It's yeah. like, you want to search it. You don't, if yeah. you draw it in tandem with other cards, obviously it's good. Yeah. But you can't bake on your hand being that yeah, good. Yeah. Two field spell. I like two. Um, I want to play three, but like, I prefer not to. Um, it's like, I think two is a good number. Um, like, it just, it fucking sucks when you don't open a play, so you need to play four, in my opinion. Uh, seven tops. Um, oh, look who it is! Yo, that's Marcus Seven Top Carisi! <laughs> and then, so for the non uh, brandish cards, we have two foolish goods, two terraforming. This is a really good ratio for me. I don't want to draw more than one of this, like, ever. So you, you wouldn't play three of this, or you wouldn't play, like, three terra, three field, or nothing like that? No, it's just like. But, like, maybe in the future, maybe if you want to, like, future. up your consistency, yeah, right? Yeah, it's just, like, not really up my consistency. It just allows me to play better cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but these are still necessary, I think. Yeah. Um, and then, this is for cherries and Goki, like, game one, because. Gamma outs everything else. Want to see some time? Yeah, you want to see it sometimes, but not all the time. It's just really good. Shouts to Calvin Tom. And then, uh, <laughs> you're going to smash him. All right, and then, uh, yeah, he's garbage, bro. He's garbage. And then, uh, two desires, because yeah. this deck needs to get going sometimes. Yeah. It honestly just has a tough time going, get, get it going sometimes. Yeah. If you don't draw, like, your rays or waste to them. Yeah. So, desire is really good. Rhoda. 
This card is the best card to draw, guys. It's my favorite. You know what's actually not the worst card to draw? Because you just roll that it's away. Really, it's really good when you draw it, your three um, toolbox cards, oh, and, a, yeah, and, a, okay. and an anchor, yeah, and you pass. Rip, rip. <laughs> and then rip. you play two impermanents. I wish I don't have a third, but I would play a third. Sick. Yeah. Nice, bro. So that's uh, 10 uh, hand traps total. That was the whole deck. Let's check out the, the extra deck, bro. Yeah. We're just going to get the seven tops approval when this is done. Um, so extra deck, two tokens. Shout out to Peter and Nog. You guys are the goats. Uh, but obviously next to Steven. Oh, thank um, you, so thank you. Bomber Dragon, really good. It's like, it's so good in this deck. Yeah. It's like almost as good. Oh, wait, Trickster sucks. Um, so this is like the best card in this deck because you can like summon it when you steal their stuff. Yeah, like when you um, get you, that. And then you want to draw those or yeah. do anchor, it's just hard. Yeah, like when you get that on board with like all the you hornets just win. and stuff, like, you just win, yeah. it's very tough to lose. Yeah, uh, Chismania, this card's really good in the mirror. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you can, um... The, all the top logics in this deck are like... Yeah, if you can, like, anchor their monster yeah. on your turn, summon this, and phase give them back a monster, so they have one in the main phase, um, ma main monster zone, and Chismania, all their back row, you just win. Yeah. That's really good. I did that a few times on DB. Um, Unicorn. Uh, really good. It's just generic. Like, you just need it. Uh, Ningrisu. So, I decided not to play Borlo because um, Battle Phase is, like, important in this deck with the release of Hayate. Because you always want to have access to it. Yeah. This allows you to send stuff, summon a ray. So, basically, like this, you can go like this. If you have a field spell up, send field spell, summon ray. Yeah. Then you can, like, link into a bigger link monster. Yeah. Like, it's just so free. Yeah. Doesn't target. It's just yeah. phenomenal. And it's really easy to make in this deck. Um, yeah. Phoenix, really good, obviously. Um, Space Insulator, yeah. like this is just for floodgates, and this is just because you need a generic link to that points down that you can make with tokens. Yeah. I wouldn't play anything else. I was debating uh, cutting Phoenix for um, like other cards, but um, just keep Phoenix it like this. definitely comes up a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, it does, yeah. for sure. Uh, buy seven tops. Um, no, you're going? No, you're seeing. Be quiet. No, you're seeing, you're seeing. Chill for a bit. Anyways, uh, so then we play three Kagari. Uh, it's the best one by far, not even close. So you're gonna get it all to you the second it comes out, right? Well, let's try. Bro, uh, you already know. Uh, so Rich parents, bro. <laughs> Stop this. Okay, anyways, so three Kigari. Um, two Shizuku, this is something a little weird. Mm. I don't think three comes up because, like, I was trying Sky Blaster in this deck for a little bit, and I was talking to Nock about it, it's like, I was arguing, like, what's the next win condition without, um, Sky Blaster? And then he was just like, you just play Change of Heart Turbo. And it makes sense. Like, if you draw the Widow Anchor, like, you usually win because you just negate everything, and you steal it, and you make big white monsters, and you just kill them all. So it's, like, not too bad. And with the release of, um, um, Hayate, you do, like, 3k easy. Um, of the man with the beret. Um, and then 2 Hayate. This gives you access to engage, like, almost every time you go second. It's yeah. just phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. Also, the arrow sometimes comes up. Oh, help it's, at all, right? so, it's so helpful. Yeah. Like, having the downwards pointing arrow is so helpful. Enables yeah. a lot of combos. It's yeah. just really good. And then Link Spider to go into bigger links. What? And then last card is Omega. This card is crazy. <laughs> yeah. When you when you resolve Gamma with Omega, you win the game. I mean, you, you get a game. free Omega, like, yeah. literally. It's literally, literally like Spiral Foreman. <laughs> yeah, literally free, bro. It's crazy. It's well, I'll never forget one time I was facing uh, Team Sam X1. Uh, it was back when Spirals were real. And uh, he, gammoed, he gammoed me game one mm -hmm. uh, on my max seat. Yeah. He had an Omega. I'm just like, all right, rip. And now, all right, <laughs> next game, for some reason, I decided to do the ex uh, after he used uh, Big Red. Oh, you I was the biggest exact idiot in thing. the world. And I maxed it on Big Red, and didn't, even though he gammoed me game one, I didn't wait for him to have a monster nice. on board. And he gammoed Omega me for a second time. And I'm just like, I hate this game. People and like, you are how I won to regionals. And nice. Then, yes, I know. That's all Anyways, I need to hide no, no, for so, like five um, months. When I, in Spiral Format, I used to yeah. gamma people like two times in one turn against Magician. They ash me, I gamma them, and then they go Omega Effect, and I gamma them again. It was oh, hilarious. Man. It's the best card ever. I love it. It's so good. All right. All right bro. So late for cherries. I didn't make cherries because... Um, Goki, I didn't think would be as popular as it is at Worlds. Maybe for like a premier event, I might be yeah. in cherries because it's really so good in this deck. Because all you ever have yeah. is Ray, yeah. so you, they you always cherries yeah. is just so live. Yeah. So yeah, uh, third ogre. Um, this is just when it's good in a matchup, it's really good, yeah. like game breaking if you draw it. Yeah. So I want to play three. Yeah. Uh, three cherries. The best card against Goki. Yeah. Um, shark hand card's really good. Twin, uh, really good. Um, I played three, I just don't know where I put my third, so just proxy this is a twin, because uh, this card's like phenomenal. Yeah. It beats Altergeist, it beats the mirror, um, it doesn't beat the mirror, but it, it helps a lot. That's how Nock yeah. beat me game two, he ripped Twin Twister in the end phase, yeah. off engage. Twister comes up a lot, man, especially yeah, yeah. like, 
uh, it's all, you only need one card to play, right? For sure. There's a high chance in those five to six cards that you open, yeah. there's going to be some card that you actually don't care about. Like, yeah, it's going to sure, be sure. dead in the mirror. Because well, you only need one card to play right? in this deck, which is what I love, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so then, three Mind Crush. This card is phenomenal in this deck because you're always setting up Shizuku. You always have a card. Yeah. Um, it's really good. It helps you, like, you can draw this with, like, an anchor. You just never lose. Um, and then, kind of a spicy card I play is 3 Heavy Storm Duster. So this is really good in the mirror match. It's really good against Trickster Brandish. And it's good against, it's game against Altergeist when you hit their, their spoofings in their protocols. Like, you just win. Um, so basically, the reason why I wanted to play this so badly was, this is insane against Trickster Brandish in every matchup, because against Goki, they go reveal head back and just mind crush. Or if they, um, late game, they search rematch. Rematch. Like, the card is absolutely insane. So this needs no explanation. This, um, if you, if you're playing a Trickster Brandish, uh, in the mirror match, Trickster Brandish players will try and pop with Phoenix and shuffle it back. But against your deck, they're not too worried about it because they think it's an anchor. So they go, field spell, you go, that's fine. They target it, that's fine. They don't pop it, right? They let it go, they're like, oh, it's probably an anchor. He can't anchor my Kanina. They do their thing. They set their back around. End phase, game. <laughs> it's it's yeah. actually absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And then this is like, um, Kind of no pun like intended, well. no pun intended, a scapegoat for your other real like widow anchors or mind crushes. <laughs> mind crush is amazing against um, the light stage because they yeah. go. I did this to Ryan Hine, shout out to you. He goes, Light stage, shoots Candina, uh, yeah, and he targets, just, yeah. and then you just chain, rip the thing, and they're yeah. like, Oh, I lose. Yeah. They lose anyway because they're playing tricksters, <laughs> but they lose even harder yeah. because this card and this card are just insane. So yeah, for bro. sure, three of them in this deck because this deck is a control deck. Um, it's a control bro, deck. Well, that's what I love about it. Like, it's literally, if you're facing someone that's playing uh, the same deck or something similar to it, you yeah. just out control them. It's not like if you play Pender Goki, you know if the match is over by looking at your hand. Yeah. And the match is over game one, like, turn one or turn, uh, Trickster turn zero. Trickster like, Brandish, here's how I win the game. Set one and face Kiku. <laughs> um, Goki. Invoker, effects, Ash, call by the group. That's literally how the games go now. Yeah. And I just didn't want to be a part of that with the degeneracy. Yeah. Yeah. So I stuck to a deck that I thought was really good. Um, I've had a really like good time with this deck. I My first loss playing with this deck was to knock. Um, I beat three Gokis, like three Trickster Manage. Steven just wanted me to profile it because like I am, I do like pretty well with any deck I put my mind to. Um, he just wanted to give you guys something because all the channels are just flooding Goki and Trickster Sky Strike. So you just want to diversify something. And there's a big reason why you were invited to do it, bro. Because you're the prodigy. You're the prodigy right here. The little... Bro, you're like what? 17, right? Yeah. Bro, watch what he... Watch what this guy right here, Dylan Fricker, accomplishes in Yu-Gi-Oh! By the time he's done with this game. He's going to almost accomplish as much as I will. Almost. Almost, but never as much. some respect on uh, Steven's name. You already know. Guys, I hope you love the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Yo, I hope you guys like that uh, list, bro. I love that deck, the way he did it. He played me in turn. He actually beat the Pen God. I couldn't believe it, too. It is a great deck, man. It's a good deck. Way better than Brickstar Garbage. So make sure to leave a like if you guys like it. And don't forget, if you guys are doing Uber, I'll hop and take how to do Uber. Just make sure to uh, use my coupon code signing up. Message me on social media. Any questions about Uber, I'll tell you guys how I make 500 a week in 20 hours very easily without breaking a sweat and having a great time listening to amazing music while I do it. Techno, tech house, EDM, you already know. No garbage rap. But, yeah, you know, no garbage driving my Uber. If you're an Uber rider, you're asking me, hey, I don't want to listen to EDM. Well, it sucks, because you're in my whip ski, all right? So I'm playing my music and my music only, which is EDM only. And not just EDM. Techno, tech house, you already know. All right, so make sure that you like, comment, subscribe if you guys liked it. And also check out the description below if you want any Yu-Gi-Oh cards. YGO Market got them for the cheaps. And I'll be soon releasing my own play mat at 10K subs. And if you want to be entered for the 10K giveaway for the free mat that we're giving away, a Dark Magician play mat at 10K subs, make sure to... Subscribe and like and comment because obviously I'm the greatest YouTuber in the world. So show your respect to the greatest YouTuber in the world and the greatest you go play in the world. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.